Hello. For those of you who have been watching these videos over the years, thank you. This is the last in the series as I will be stepping down from my role as CEO at the end of this year. But before I do, I'd love to share a few reflections, if you'll indulge me. First of all, uh, there are many lenses I could look through, but I'll choose two, the oys and the joys. The oys are sadly uh, evident. The wildfires we've faced over this period, the surge in anti-Semitism, the pandemic, of course, and the war in Israel. But the joys are many and they engulf them. First and foremost, the manner in which we have responded to this crisis, this pandemic. I am extraordinarily proud of this community and the way that we stood collectively and delivered. Lay leaders, donors, professionals all leaned into these challenges and enabled our community to go from strength to strength. A community that had been built strong over decades and has emerged strengthened and more resilient. In particular, I'm proud of the Federation's response, as this crisis underscored the importance of the work that a Federation does. Um, we focused on addressing the needs of the most vulnerable in our community, as well as preserving the precious ecosystem that we had built here over 100 years. It takes the power of the collective to respond to these kinds of issues, the power of a community operating together. No single organization or even cluster of organizations to, can address these issues. And that's where the Federation comes in, to galvanize the collective. And that's why I have been committed over all these years and remain committed to the work of our Federation. We can only do it together as a community. And while we can't control the OIS, we can certainly coordinate the manner in which we respond to them. And we've accomplished so much more than simply addressing crises. We have successfully integrated the East Bay Federation to make one large Bay Area Federation. We've launched a movement focused on the culture of belonging. We've upgraded our security effort for the entire community. We've deepened the Federation's work in racial justice and DEI. We executed the community portrait and made its data actionable to all of our community partners. We've launched multiple initiatives from the Teen Engagement Initiative through to the Mental Health Initiative. We shifted our work in Israel toward a deepened share society, and we've built a modern philanthropic practice that includes now impact lending and investing. I'll say that I'm also proud by the fact that we've accomplished this in operating in new ways, in ways more, more necessary for the environment that we're currently in. And that's not easy for a large, old, successful organization. Um, and I have great ad for admiration for how we've done it. When I moved back to the Bay Area from the diplomatic service, it was my dream to be involved in, in building my own community. And so in that context, it's been my privilege to be doing that here with the Federation for almost 25 years, first as a lay leader and most recently as your CEO. Serving on this has been a privilege and I feel like I've given a lot, but unquestionably, I feel, I've, I feel like I have received more than I've given. I'm so grateful to all of you who have supported our wonderful work. We're moving through interesting times and there are more challenges and opportunities ahead. And I have every confidence that this community and this Federation will stand and deliver just as we did over these past years. We have a extraordinarily talented professional and lay team at the Federation, as well as wonderful and committed donors and collaborative communal partners. I know that we can do it together and may we all go from strength to strength.